Okay, so as in previous um, the previous video with CLFS 3.0, I've not built or installed Grub2 because it would be compiled as 64-bit and it would mean that if I copied these uh, images of these builds that I've done previously, especially the 32-bit ones, to back to a 32-bit machine, um, I wouldn't be able to boot them because the bootloader would be in 32-bit. So um, all I'm going to do is leave the bootloader as it is from Grub 0.9, whatever it was, 9.7 something perhaps, um, and just add a new entry and re just keep reusing the old bootloader. So I'm going to create a copy of the last entry and rename it. So um, uh, they've got the wording slightly differently to the earlier versions of LFS, so I'll just stick with the, what I've been using just for consistency. Um, let's put in 8.2. I guess I should put in the fact that it is 64 bit as a reminder. And once again, the root partition is the boot partition because that's where the kernel image is which is what we're interested in and i'll just get rid of this and replace it with this and change sda 10 to sda 11 and that hopefully should be enough hopefully i haven't left anything out so that is the end of the build as you saw there were some problems because um I've been distracted while doing the build and it looks like I'd missed running make install for make and gawk so it caused a couple of problems with the with the Linux build, the kernel build and as you saw the kernel build seemed to have got corrupted it wasn't until I deleted the actual source and re-uncompressed it that the kernel seemed to build correctly so um, yeah I'm gonna shut this down now and in the next, oh, I'll just do these last bits to keep a record of what version we've got. And we'll, oh yeah, in fact, what I'll do first before I carry on is I'll install the BLFS packages um, that I normally install so that we'll have a machine that's ready to go to download for the final um, version of Linux from scratch um, and also allow me to get remote access immediately as well. So the first thing, well we've got OpenSSL installed because that's part of LFS now. Um, we've got OpenSSH, will this take me to the correct page? Yes it has done, that's good. And Right, let's take me to actual Linux from scratch.org page. I'll what I'll do is I'll go to my own server because, like I said, I've got a um, bit of a flaky internet. So let's do duplicate there. Get rid of that. And I've got BLFS here with all the packages that I downloaded already that I needed. Um, I'm going to do something slightly different this time. I've avoided installing Make CA, the certificate authority, if it's existed because I thought this would be so out of date there probably wouldn't be much use. But I'm hoping that, um, well, maybe this, this is kind of six years old. Uh, sorry, not six years old. Uh, yes, it is, yeah, 2018. Um, that pff, They might mostly be out of date, but um, we'll see. Anyway, um, I'll install that first. Then I'll do open SSH. I'm not sure why open SSL is here. Oh, maybe it's to build in with this uh, Kerberos. Um, actually, it's not the open SSH I want because I want the server. Uh, 
Okay, I presume that must have the server. Yes, it does. Okay, that's good. So open SSH. I'll also want wget and links. So I'll just push them over there. And I think I'll start with make CA first so that that's um, enabled, ready for anything that needs it. So let's go into BLFS here and extract the make CA. Now is this make CA bundle or, or sorry, BLFS CA bundle. I'm not sure if that was needed by anything, but I thought I'd grab it. Anyway, um, not quite sure if it's something that is normally downloaded as part of this installation or what, so um, there's no mention of it anywhere. So we'll see how we go with that. So let's extract, make CA, and let's see how we go with these. Oh, it does look like the part of the installation fetches some information so maybe it does install or update these certificates let's, let's try these one at a time to see what happens with each of them oh of course yeah we haven't got wget yet have we so let's install that first and wgets will just use the certificates when they become available so initially we won't be able to download anything off a secure site would have to tell it not to check um, but once it's built um, it will just pick up the certificates it will see them Okay, so that's built, so let's do make install. So we should have wget now. So let's go back to make CA and rerun this command here. So wget and that URL, so that seems to have worked. Let's do the next one. Yep, that's worked, so let's now run these two open SSL commands that seems to have worked and yep that's fine let's install it that's all successful and then um, it says to download and update the certificate stores with the following command okay so let's do that Well, I can't tell if it's actually doing anything. Right, okay, so it is. It was obviously downloading something there. Right, so that's all installed. Let's tidy that up and shut that down. And we'll do open SSH next. Th 
So we need to create the SSHD user, then add the group. Oh, sorry, not an SSHD user, a uh, location for the SSHD files. Now we add a group and a user. Patch the file and configure and build it. Okay, that's good, and we can install it, and that's done. Okay, and lastly, we build links. So there's a couple of patches. Okay, looks like I didn't retrieve them. Okay, let me just uh, get them on the server and get them downloaded. Okay, it seems the repository where I got the um, links to from didn't have um, those patches for some reason, even though I had the open SSH patch, but I've managed to get them off the uh, Linux from Scratch website by searching for those specific specific patch names uh, in the search engine. So um, I've put them on my server, but um, I haven't got links obviously to get them. So I'm going to try to use wget. Um, So it'll be this part of the name. Um, and then the names of the patches. So it'll be that one. And that one, see if that works. Looks like it. Uh, the only thing is I've copied them in the wrong place, so let's uh, move them. Okay, so let's try again with the first one. And that's worked. And the second one, yeah, that's worked. So let's do the configuration. Now normally with wget, there's a couple of extras are here. Um, there's this NLS one, and uh, with SSL didn't used to be included, but it looks like it is now. So uh, I'll just put that in. So we've seen wget works. Um, the only thing we haven't seen is it working with um, an HTTPS website. Um, but I'll test that when I've rebooted into the new system.
Okay, so I install this and it should be done. There's some extra configuration that can be done here. Uh, runtime configuration. And that's it. Now I've just realized that um, I'm under a bit of pressure today that I have not finished configuring um, OpenSSL. So let me go back to do that. Uh, sorry, OpenSSH uh, to make it work as a as a daemon. So the first thing is I want to allow root access. So I need to edit this file and ensure that the root can actually log in. So permit. So it looks like they've taken that option out completely. Now it used to be in as permit root login. Uh, yes, but it was remarked out and looks like it's actually not there at all now. Um, looks like it only allows empty passwords. Uh, search for the word root. Yeah, it's not there at all. So what I'm going to do is just to add this in. Oh, here it is, permit root login. Prohibit a password that, that's got there, but I'm just going to add this in and change that to yes to allow root access. And then I'm going to have to install the startup scripts, so I need to extract them, change into them, and run that command to install them. So that really should be it, I hope. Um, so I really can reboot the system now. So I'm going to log out, unmount all these file systems, see what's left over. Oh, I didn't unmount boot, did I, from within the troot? So I'll do that from within troot. Okay. And there's just the LFS left, so Let's unmount that. That's unmounted successfully. And it's got just a shutdown. I'm going to do a halt and I'll just do it starting up from scratch. Um, and I'll say that'll be in the next video.